does bring color to people's lives and more importantly i believe art brings meaning to people's lives art is about making meaning and making sense of this world um, in a very important way so art gym is about helping groups of people communities of people make sense of this world make meaning of this world in a beautiful colorful way art gym is about art but it's also about exercising art it's also about the practical art making side of things people go to the gym to exercise their bodies why not go to a space to exercise our creativities very much like our body our creativity is like a muscle it needs exercising so many people say oh i'm not creative and the fact is we are all creative it's how we exercise that part of us why art why art in the community Art is a universal language. It transcends cultures, it transcends generations. If you think of early societies and indigenous cultures, um, those communities used art all the time for healing. That's what they did. They um, told stories together, they made images together, they danced together, they celebrated together. And they used art to come together and be a community. And we don't do that any more and I think Art Gym is about that, it's about bringing the community together to make song together, to storytell together. We've got a huge amount of expertise with working with commercial organisations, um, using the arts in big corporate engagement projects and we really wanted to transfer our learning and our expertise in that area into the community. We were particularly look interested in, in Kingston because it's, it, it's an interesting mix of being both an urban community with a very rich past but it's also along the Thames because one of our visions is this could be one of a number of projects that actually travels up along the Thames into the City of London. So we've been preparing this whole project for the what the last six months. We've been um, partnering with a number of different places and organisations across the borough. That includes things like um, Transition Town Kingston, which is a community action group. They're actually going to take some of the ideas that come out of the workshop and build them over and into their next 12 months initiative. What is it that you think will be a way to bring in people to come and, and join in this community, in these community events that are going to be about using sort of arts and creative media to explore past, present and future of Kingston and ideas for the future, for a better, for a better Kingston? I have no idea what's going to happen. I can't believe if we're going to be standing there with placards at the start of the project, if you said you're going to be standing in the middle of the street with a placard, I would have said, no, thank you, but that's what we're doing. Enough for everyone, adults, kids. Yeah. Just like a little London, but not in London. I mean, how do I feel? How do you feel about Kingston? What do you like? Nightmare. The most important thing for us has been around making sure that it's a really inclusive and really diverse event. So we've been going to um, different parts of the community from something like Kingston University and meeting all the students there. I mean, there's about 30,000 students alone in um, Kingston University through to doing projects, um, planning a follow-up project with um, Kingston Museum and then going to something like the Cambridge Road Estate, which is a big housing estate um, in Norberton. And then something as rich and as lovely as the Tamil Elders Group. We don't listen to our elders enough and I feel we don't listen to our young people enough and I don't think the two talk to each other enough. 
We've been planning this wonderful event on the 20th and 21st in the middle of Kingston to invite as many people as possible from all parts of the community, that's very important, to come together to share your stories and to create ideas. Those ideas are going to be showcased across the whole of Kingston. We're going to show your ideas in the Museum of Kingston for the whole of the summer. There will be lots of refreshments and you can enjoy yourself by meeting many, many people and you can share your, but how you are going to improve Kingston. We live in such a anti-aging culture, don't we? And I think the ex really exciting thing about the project is we're going to help young people stand in the shoes of old people. We're going to help the old people stand in the shoes of the young people. And hopefully they're all going to realise that actually we're all in this together. The artist helps those people think about how to creatively express their ideas. You say in 20 years time, well, like I've had so many people ask me what I, you know, what I'm going to do when I graduate, and I ain't got a clue. And the thought of it is like scaring me. Yeah. Like that and that's me. like only a few months away. And there's a few of us in final year, and we're really scared. I, I don't, don't want to leave. So there, that's quite interesting angle to, for yeah. our own opinion to be coming from. Like looking at young people and old people, what they see in 20 years, I don't even know what I see in two and a half months. We're like, we're How many yes. young people do you think will come? We hope it will be literally half and half. So sort of the, the age group between 19 to 25 and then the age group of um, 55 plus. And my hope is at the end of it, there is that sense of, of community across the generations but also what difference that can make when, I'm just thinking about what you said about you know, how we can sometimes feel intimidated in our own community. And some ways of breaking that down is through how do you create understanding? I do think there's a natural bond there, really. However polite, probably, the young people that you're going to have, they don't need us, and in a funny way, we don't really need them. As far as coming together, life is so short, they've got so much to do. They find us boring because we don't really relate to their music and possibly, if not to their, to their art, to the cultural side. They don't, we find it very difficult to share that. Anyway, at my age, I have to say. And when we do express ourselves creatively, either individually or collectively, something very important happens. We listen to each other and we understand each other and the world is a slightly better place because of it. My heart is like in a high sort of dun dun dun. dun. <laughs> so this is like all activity. My legs feel leaden, and my head metaphorically is writing lists. So it's all there's like three different parts of my body are doing <laughs> totally different things and having three different activities. I used to feel like there's loads of loads of coloured balloons everywhere. That I sort of feel like I want to rather than releasing more <laughs> into the air which I feel like doing quite often, is to catch the ones we've got and make them mm. become mm. something to take forward. So each of the zones will have three lots of people's work on it, and then you'll move on to the next session. So essentially there's 12 groups. Um, In the day? The whole, no, for the whole um, oh, yeah. weekend. Yeah. That, that outer gallery could be capturing dreams and also asking the question, what are you learning? What have you learned? What have you learned about your environment? What have you learned about your... Um, community, what have you learnt about your neighbours? So the priority is to unload this van and okay. then you'll need to go and park it up somewhere. Where do I park it? Uh, there is a car park literally down Bishop's Hall which is the first right there. The first right? Yeah. Brilliant. Um, and the guys, have they got the trolley? Hello Louise, have they got the trolley? 
Hot trolley. What guys? Shop and shop until you drop in Kingston. Stop. Past and present are on the hook. Future, look. How stories shape and link us to a place. Think. People are going to make this fantastical landscape of past, present and future of their feelings and ideas for their environment. So what we're doing is we're creating three distinct zones. But when I was a boy, I used to get on my bike, cycle over to Kingston, to spend my Saturday sixpence buying stamps on the other side of the water splash. Did you know there was a water splash in Kingston? How do I feel about Kingston? I love Kingston very much. Yeah, of course. I like. Kingston always draws me in. I've been to lots of different places and um, I always feel there's a river, there's, there's a lot going on quite often in Kingston. I like, I like Kingston. I'm very happy to live in Kingston. I'm very proud of Kingston today. It's a very vibrant place. I, I don't share this nostalgia that it was better than the old days. I think it's great now and it will be better in the future. How will it be different? Hmm, I hope the river will be used more for transport up and down. But I think arts in general maybe puts people out of their comfort zone but in a way it brings them more together and it, and it um, encourage them to share their ideas and talk a bit more and it's a nice way of interacting with people I think. Anything that gets people doing art I think is great because I think art is absolutely important, vital to, to every, every community, every town. Really, really do we ever get to have even just time just to sit down and talk even though we're not working it's just just an opportunity just to sit down and talk and fellowship and learn about people that you wouldn't normally get to come into contact with is, is, is pretty special I mean it is just amazing that so many people come together for something like this because the image of organizations like this tend to be this is middle-class middle-aged white women the usual suspects and it sounds as though they've managed to get more people involved which is great وشعور كلش حلو وطبيعي وحبيت كينغستن مثل بيتي وعيش بها بأمان وبسلام الحمد لله. I think art is a wonderful way of expression and really really can help to change things and get people to think and look. Getting things on paper, it was literally like everything was on. I felt like a kid, like a little kid again, and um, it was really good working with people from different generations as well because you get their idea of what. Um, what they want to see in the future, along with our ideas, that was really great. It was like being back in junior school, I loved it. And I wish we could have done more. The kind of people you see on the bus, and you're like, well, you don't, you don't really talk on the bus. You don't talk, people don't talk to each other these days, like young and old people. But today, it's just been clashed together, and it's just been great. Everyone's an equal. That's, that's how it felt. Quite nurturing as well, because it's kind of nurturing your ideas, kind of nurturing your energy towards something of a future for Kingston. So many people, they, they didn't believe they, they could do art, and they came here and they discovered that they could do it. I see you saw art as a form of therapy as well. And I, th I found that it helped break down the barriers between people. Everyone mucked in, they all helped each other, and they were advising each other what to do, and these are people who, who didn't feel that they, they could do art in any shape or form. Well, I'm really enthused by seeing so many young people who are full of positive attitudes, and I think it's lovely to see that. It's given me some hope. <laughs> <laughs>